let's open up exercise for selection toggles for RBG file. Okay, in this scenario, we're going to learn how to use the selection toggles to, to lock the selection or remove or make certain things unselectable. Okay. Now, if you notice here, if you notice this portion here, all right, toggling the object types here will make certain items here selectable or not selectable. Okay, for example, if we were to click on select link, now this object itself, it says down here under the properties palette, it says this is a link Revit model building site .rbg file. That means this one is a link object. Okay. To avoid sometimes making small mistakes that we do not notice when we are working on the project, like for example, if we were to leave this selectable, we may sometimes click wrongly and shifted the site by mistake. So this will be quite a big problem if we didn't notice, notice it and rectify it immediately. All right. So in order to prevent such things from happening, we would click here and make the toggles non-selectable. And in doing this now, if you notice, now the link item is no longer selectable at all. We can do the same by clicking on the drop down list on the top left hand corner right underneath the modify button. And if you notice here, the select links and select underlay elements are not checked. That means they are not selectable. Okay. We can click here and here to toggle them to make them selectable. Or we can click here as well to check and uncheck them to make them selectable or not selectable. So for example, right now, I'm going to activate them by checking them, the tick boxes here. And you notice now the link object is now selectable. And also, if you notice here, we have what we call the underlay object here. And these objects are now selectable because we have activated the underlay, underlay objects. If I were to change this one to, I were to toggle this select underlay elements off, you notice now these elements are no longer selectable. Let me reactivate them by toggling it again. And if you notice now, these objects that are underlay are now selectable. Next, let's explore this item here. Let's click on the grids here. Let's click on grid B. If you notice down here in grid B, there is what we call the pin object down here. Pin objects here are important because they lock down certain keys, key items in which we do not want it to be easily moved. But yet, we still want them selected or selectable. So if you notice this, once this is being pinned down, okay, they are not movable. All right. And what we can do is we can toggle them by clicking this area here, select pin elements. If we were to switch this off, 
you will now notice the grids are no longer selectable at all. You can select other things, but not the grid. We can again click on the tick here and toggle them by making them selectable. But because they are being pinned down with this pin icon here, they are not movable at all. In order to be able to move them, we must first unpin them. Notice the icon changing. Then they can become, or we are able to then move them. But please be very careful with selecting pin items, especially grids. Grids are usually the symbolic items in which they would basically determine the structural positions or positions of structural elements. We do not want to make uh, mistakes by shifting them by mistake. All right. So usually we would like to pin them once they are being confirmed. 